In this lecture, we will continue using relations to define our sketches. In this part, we will address relations that involve circles and ellipses, basically shapes with curves. To help us show those relations, we're going to sketch the following shape, in which we will use the relations horizontal, vertical, tangent, concentric, equal, and coincident. Note that the figure we're trying to sketch consists of four circles, two ellipses, and three lines. We have already learned how to sketch those shapes, so we're going to go ahead and sketch a general outline of the figure we're trying to sketch. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to select the front plane for this. Sketch. I'm going to start with drawing the three lines. So one line here, one line here one line here and then I'm gonna draw the circles so I'm gonna click on circles I'm gonna draw uh, four circles so one circle two circles three circles four circles and then I'm going to draw two ellipses so I'm gonna draw one ellipse here and one ellipse here so those are the shapes we have now I created them randomly like this just to illustrate how the relations work otherwise you can start by drawing the two circles inside each other and the two ellipses inside each other but let's do this for now let's start with fixing the relations between the four circles I'm gonna click escape because I don't want to draw more ellipses and then I'm going to click on this circle here press and hold control click on the other circle and you see in the add relations we have a relation called concentric. What concentric does is it would make the two circles share the same center, which is what we have in the figure. So I'm going to click on that and notice they are now concentric. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two circles. Click on the parameter here, press and hold control in the keyboard, click on the other parameter, go to add relations, and select concentric. Another thing we have is that the two outer circles are equal to each other. So I'm going to click on the outer circle here, press and hold control, click on the other outer circles, and in add relations I'm going to select equal. Now you notice the two circles are equal to each other. I'm going to do the same thing with the other inner circles, so I'm going to click on this circle, press and hold control, click on the other circle, and select equal. Now we have the two inner circles equal each other and the two outer circles equal each other. To check the relations we have, we can click and hold in this parameter and start moving it, and you will notice that the other parameters start moving with it as well. Same thing here, if I do that, you'll notice the other parameters start moving with it as well. Another relation we notice from the figure is the two outer circles are tangent to each other. So I'm going to click on this parameter here, press and hold control, click on the other parameter, and choose the relation tangent. And now you see the two outer circles are tangent to each other and they'll always remain tangent. We also notice that the centers of the circles are horizontal to each other. So I'm going to click on the center here, control, click in the other center, go to add relations and choose horizontal. The distance between the inner circle and the outer circle is 0.5 inches. So let's go ahead and do that we're going to use Smart Dimension. So I'm going to Smart Dimension and choose that. I'm going to click on the inner circle and then I'm going to go to the outer circle and click again. Now we get the indication that we're measuring the distance between the two parameters. I'm going to click again and in the window I'm going to type in 0.5 and then click OK. I'm going to exit Smart Sketch now notice that the distance remained the same between the two circles. Another thing we notice is this 
outer circle is tangent to this line. So I'm going to click on this outer circle, control, click on this line, and select the relation tangent. And this would make them tangent to each other. It's not necessary for them to be coincident, but if I extend this line to infinity, it will end up being tangent to the circle. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to click on the other parameter, control, click on the other line, and choose tangent. We want the end of the line to be coincident or to actually intersect the parameter of the circle. So I can click on the end of the line here, the point, control and hold, and then click in the parameter of the circle. And there is a relation here that says coincident. I'm going to choose that. Now you notice the point intersects with the line. Click on the point and then click on the other parameter and add the relation coincident. So now we have the outer shape of the figure we want. Let's start working on the ellipses. We notice that the two ellipses are concentric. So I'm going to click on this ellipse, control and hold this other ellipse, and I'm going to choose concentric. So now we notice the two ellipses share a center. I also notice that the outer ellipse is tangent to both the circles. So I'm going to click on the parameter of this ellipse, press and hold control, go to the first circle, click on it, and then choose the relation tangent. I'm going to do the same thing with the other circle. So I'm going to select the parameter of the ellipse again, control and hold, and then select the parameter of the other circle and select the relation tangent. And now we notice the outer ellipse is tangent to both circles and it will always stay like this. Another thing we notice is that the minor axes of the ellipses are all horizontal. So let's do that. I'm going to click on this point, press and hold control, select this other point, this point, and this point. Those points represent the minor axes. So after I select them, I want them all to be in a horizontal line. I'm going to go to Add Relations and select Horizontal. Another thing we notice is this point in the ellipse is coincident with this point here. So let's apply this relation as well. I'm going to select this point, press and hold Control, select this point, and then I'm going to select the relation coincident. Another thing we notice is that the lower point is midpoint to the bottom line. So I'll select this point, press and hold control, select the line, and then select the relation midpoint. Those two lines are equal. So I'm going to select this line and this line, and I'm going to have them equal to each other. The distance between the two ellipses is 5 inches, so I'm going to take my smart dimension, click on this point here, and then click on this other point here, and have that to be 0.5 inches. Exit smart dimension. Now we notice that almost everything relates to each other. So if I click and hold this bottom line, and I start moving it, you notice that everything changes with it according to the relations we created. Let's fix this to the origin. So I'm going to select this corner point, press control, select the origin, and make them coincident. This line here is 5 inches according to the figure we have. So we're going to dimension that to 5 inches. Now I'm going to exit the smart dimension. Now notice that our sketch is still not fully defined because the two ellipses in the middle are still not restrained enough. An easy way to figure out what's missing is to click and hold any of these blue lines and start moving them. If I start doing that here, 
you will notice that the ellipses are moving horizontally. So we need to restrain them horizontally as well. Let us look to the figure again. You will notice that this point here and this point in the minor axis of the ellipse are in a vertical position. So let's go ahead and apply that relation. I'm going to click on this point, press and hold control, click on the center of the circle, and then I'm going to select the relation vertical. Once I do that, the figure is fully defined. Let's go ahead and try changing this 5 inches into another dimension. Let's say I'm going to change it to 7 inches. So I'm going to type in 7 and click OK. Notice that the figure is still fully defined and notice that everything in the figure have changed according to the relations we created.